Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and this one is interesting as well as a little bit fantastic as well, I'll call this pretty awesome. So as the name suggests of this video, we're gonna have some fun with machine learning. And I haven't tested out this special thing, I just wanted to see this live uh, on a recording session so that I can post it on YouTube. And what basically we're gonna do is we're gonna find out some of the celebrities uh, like Narendra Modi, uh, Donald Trump, maybe Salman Khan, maybe Shah Rukh Khan, and we'll try to detect if uh, what the machine learning actually says about uh, the these person, if uh, the machine learning is still able to find those persons or not. Now, uh, I know this is not going to work well uh, because the model of machine learning that I'm using is not meant to be uh, identifying the personalities and that is that kind of technology is not yet evolved. Uh, but it's always fun to explore unheard territories and it, it's always fun. We're gonna do some basic stuff as well like finding uh, is it going to detect basketball or a bread of loaf or something like that. So uh, yes, uh, it's, it's always fun to give it a try and uh, maybe in some of the videos I'll walk you through that how I designed the app. Now first of all, let me show you that uh, what kind of model that I'm using here. So where is my browser? Okay, come on, fire that up. and. The model that I'm using is uh, ResNet 50, uh, which is available on the GitHub as well, if you want to look uh, quite in more detail about it. Uh, that's the ResNet 50 I'm using, and you can see it's a, it's having a couple of versions, like uh, ResNet 50, 152, and I'm specifically using the model being uh, used in the iOS development, because that's, that's the iOS app that here we have got. And uh, that's, that's all here is, and you can see some familiar words which we have discussed in the previous videos as well. So this is gonna be a pretty fun exercise and let me bring up my simulator here. I'm gonna minimize this. Okay, so again, again, uh, first of all, a disclaimer, a big disclaimer that if you have a problem with this app or something, don't watch this video further on because I am not pretty sure when I'll fetch uh, photos like Narendra Modi or Donald Trump, what's gonna say, so I'm not aware of that and neither. Uh, it's something that has to do with me because I'm using the model being designed by Apple and Google. Uh, so don't put a case on me, just uh, follow those guys, okay? I'm just trying to use them and trying to show you that. Uh, it's available for everybody, okay? So, and again, maybe in some videos later on, I'll, I'll show you and walk you through that how this app was designed. Uh, not this one actually, not this one. This is a different app. Uh, this is the app that we have and uh, you can see that's a pretty uh, familiar app. Uh, you can fetch it a photo and it's going to judge what the photo is, it's according to its guess. And it's also going to say I'm only this much percent of the shore. So I'm going to pick up a few photos here and I've got a few good photos here. Now as you can see this is a bread loaf which is obviously a French loaf, everybody can tell that. So no big deal and it says I'm 99% sure that this is a French loaf. Okay, really good, good starting there. And uh, can you imagine here that what kind of power the machine learning is actually giving to you? You are able to just fetch any photo and it's going to judge it like that. So this is this is pretty fantastic. If I'll just tell you to write the program for such things, I can fetch it hundreds and thousands of type of bread and I'm pretty sure it's gonna come up really clean with that. Okay, and uh, let's try to fetch something more interesting and I thought, hey, why not to fetch Steve Jobs and figure it out that if it can find out uh, the Apple Steve Jobs, of course the app is running on the Apple, we're using a model, a uh, ResNet model of Apple version of it here, uh, but again it says bow tie, bow tie, bow tie, <laughs> so uh, not a good job machine learning, not a good job there with the Steve Jobs. Uh, let's try something else as well, I have got the famous guy Sundar Pichai here, so it says lab coat and laboratory coat, nothing impressive, see machine learning is getting evolved, uh, but it's not right there yet. It, it has to do a lot of things. It's still in version 2, I think in version 3 or 4 or 5, maybe we'll have something more fantastic there. So there we go. If I just open up a camera roll for uh, the two famous guys of the Google, uh, it doesn't really work there as well. Uh, let's see what it does for uh, your favorite for machine learning and AI. See, it doesn't even recognize its predecessor or maybe successor if they are one. So there we go, and what about the this face? Uh, it says it's a mask, and uh, I am really impressed with this situation here, uh, because to be honest, uh, it's a machine and a man, so it's a mask layer, so it has done a pretty good job of finding out that it's a mask being thrown here. And this is something amazing that machine learning is doing. Let's try out uh, with something else. 
Okay, so uh, I was looking on the Google and trying to say, save a couple of images here. So let's try with uh, uh, Donald, oops, come on, give me something. Uh, let's try to look for Donald Trump and uh, let's pick up some good images. And you know, uh, I'll go with this one. Uh, this guy is really famous. So let's just save this image and try to fetch it to our app and see if it can fetch it out. So uh, we couldn't find the image, where is the image? Okay, did I saved it? Come on, did the image got saved? Or maybe not this image. Okay, this looks decent. Come on, give me this image. I want to save this. Come on, why the image is not getting saved? Okay, there we go. So let's fetch this image and it says, suit, suit of clothes. Good, not amazing job, uh, but yeah, decent. Okay, let's try out with our uh, Honorable Prime Minister there. And come on, let me search for him. And there we go, Narendra Modi. Okay, let's look for something good picture. Oh, this looks nice. This looks really handsome picture there. So let's just save this image. And let's try uh, what it says for that picture. Okay, come on, detect it. Okay, racket. It doesn't look like a racket to me. I cannot play any sports with it. Let's try with another image there. And uh, let's try this smiling face image. That is one lovely image. Fantastic. So come on, let me save that. And we're going to give it a try and shot with a couple of other guys as well, which are pretty famous. So let's try with this. And Busby, Shaco. I don't know what that is. Uh, Bearskin. I have no idea. Let's try with something fun here and try to look out for something uh, else as well. Maybe uh, it can recognize the famous guy in Bollywood here. I think this photo looks good, decent. I don't know if it is smiling or try to cry there. But hey, I know Salman Khan fans are gonna bash me for that, but who cares? So let's just go ahead. Jersey, t-shirt, t-shirt. Uh, so it's, it has done a fantastic job here for detecting the t-shirts. And uh, that's fantastic. I like this app. I can play it all day long. And uh, the reason I have added recently a camera button over here because in the boot camp we were just playing it around, uh, fetching like bottles and mobiles and camera lenses and uh, uh, goggles and pretty much everything we could have found. We were just clicking the picture and uh, throwing it on the app to find out whether uh, machine learning can do it or not. And uh, uh, I'm planning to fetch a couple of more models to it because right now I'm just working on one model. I'm planning to add uh, at least two or three models more to it so that it can des uh, detect more categories of the object. Right now it just detects uh, for our 700-ish categories of objects. Uh, but I think a more cool part would be if it can detect like, uh, like 2,000 or 3,000 categories. And one amazing thing that if it can detect a face as well as can try to find out on the internet what it's looking up for. I know I'm being too much optimistic there, but surely it can detect face. We can uh, put a face there, but that's a face detection. A thing that Google, uh, the Facebook is doing, if that kind of thing becomes open source, uh, possibilities are endless. Because if you do remember, in the Facebook, it can automatically detect the faces as well as can compare it uh, to your friend's images and can find out that, hey, this is the friend uh, that uh, you have named and shall we tag this, shall we tag that? So uh, I was more hoping for that kind of uh, opportunities if they can make it open source. Surely we can design an app with that. So that was fun. It was a fun exercise. We have made a different kind of video for this channel here. So I would say uh, that's it for this video. It was quite fun. Maybe in uh, some upcoming videos based on request, uh, I can walk you through how I designed this app. It's pretty basic, nothing much is here. So that's it for this video. If you are new to this channel, do hit the subscribe button. We play around quite a lot with the codes and technology here. Uh, pretty geeky stuff with programming. Uh, that's all we, what we do at this channel. And that's it for this video. Uh, do hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts, write down in the comment. I see all of them and I'll surely catch you up in the next one.